Hello and welcome to this lecture and in this lecture what we will do is that we will go ahead and learn about how to use your Android phone's camera in any of the Android application. So let's say you are making some kind of Android app in which you do need to click an image and you want to store it into the gallery. So for that purpose what we need to do is that we need to learn how to go ahead access camera, uh, how to click a picture with camera and how to do everything like that programmatically in Android. So what we will do is that we will start a new Android Studio project and we will name it as my new camera app. Click next, select the API level to be 15, click next and select an empty activity, click next and let the name of your main activity be main activity and finally hit finish. So in this tutorial what we are going to do is that we will learn how to access the hardware of your Android device. So the first thing which we do is that in this onCreate method right here what we wish to do is that as soon as the app starts we actually want to load up an activity which is nothing but uh, the camera activity that is nothing but as soon as the app starts the camera should be launched and we should be able to click an image and once the image is clicked the next thing which we want to do is that we want to basically have the preview of that particular image. So for that purpose, the first thing which we do in the onCreate itself is that we create a new intent. So let's type in intent and let's name this intent as i equals new intent. And here what we do is that we basically want to start the intent of capturing an image. So for that what we do is that we use media store. So this is actually a service provider by Android which you could use to fire up the event for starting an image capture. So media store dot action image capture. So once this thing is done the next thing which you want to do is that you want to have a file in place which is actually going to go ahead and save up that image into that particular file. So let's create a file here. So that's going to be file and let's import it from java.io and let's name this file as dir and here what we will do is that we will basically get the external storage public directory which is nothing but the path where the image is going to be stored so we type in environment dot get external storage public directory now as you could see there are a bunch of options here like get external storage directory get data directory get download cache directory but in between these we are going to choose the get external storage public directory and after this you want to actually pass in the directory path so we will type it in environment dot directory dcim so if you could notice uh, the folders the DCIM, the alarms, documents, downloads and movies. These folders are nothing but the folders which are going to be by default present in your Android phone. So if you ever open up the SD card or internal memory of your application, you will be able to see these folders in your application. So what we basically want to do is that we want to open up the DCIM folder. So we pass in directory.dcim and we are basically good to go. So once everything is done, the next thing which you need to do is that you need to generate a file output. So even before generating that, we have to declare it over here. So we will type in private file and let's name this thing as output equals null. So initially this is going to be null and then we are going to actually save some code into it, save some data into it. So we will type in output equals new file and here what we will do is that we will pass in the directory which is nothing but this directory right over here so dir comma and let's name this image as camera content demo dot jpeg so once this thing is done the next thing which you could do is that you could basically go ahead and create an intent to start the next activity. So if you recall what we wish to do here is that once the image is clicked we want to start a new intent which is basically going to show you the captured image. So we will basically pass in the image to the new intent so we will type in i.putextra and here we will pass in media store dot extra output 
comma URI dot from file and over here we will pass in the output so once this thing is done the final thing which you need to do is that you need to start the activity so we will type in start activity for result because we don't simply want to start another activity instead we want to start an activity for result to this we will pass an in intent and what you need to do is that you need to pass in a special content request id to this particular intent so let's go ahead and create the content request id first so that's going to be private static final int and that's going to be content underscore request equals and let's say we assign it some random value so 1745 and now what you could do is that you could pass in the content request over here and what this content request is actually going to do is that when we are actually going to execute the on activity result method this number is actually going to identify that from which intent this thing is coming from so once this thing is done what we will do is that we will start the on activity result method so the on activity result method is always going to be a method after creating the start activity for result so once we have the activity for result it's going to invoke the on activity result so what we will do is that we will simply go here and type in on activity result and the entire code will be there for us so here what we will do is that we will remove the super first of all and we will check if the request code is equal to this content request so we will type in if request code is equal equals the content request that means the request is by this particular activity then what we do is that we check if the result code is okay so we will type if the result code is equal equal to result underscore okay so if that is the case then what we want to do is that we want to create an intent so intent i equals new intent and intent dot action view so we, what we want to basically do here is that we want to create an action view which is eventually going to display the captured image so after this what we want to do is that we want to set the data and type of the intent so we type i dot set data and type and the first thing which you need to do is that you need to get the url of that particular resource so that's going to be uri dot from file and pass in the output over here and the output is nothing but this file path right here comma and that is going to be image or jpeg so that should be slash so the thing which you are looking for is either an image or a jpeg so after this what we want to do is that once this intent is successfully created you start the activity for that particular intent i and then finally add the finish method so once this thing is done we are pretty much done with the code so in the next lecture what we will do is that we will learn how to add certain permissions so that our application is going to be able to access the camera it's going to be able to access the external storage as well so thank you very much for watching and i'll see you guys next time thank you